Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Redbeard the Elf Pirate Hello, Holly. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Ben. Something very exciting is happening. What's that? My Uncle Redbeard is returning from the sea today. He's an elf pirate. Wow, a pirate. We're going to meet him at the river. Do you want to come along, Holly? Nanny Plum, can we go and meet the elf pirate? Why not? Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Barnaby. Is Uncle Redbeard here? That's him now. Yo ho ho! Wow! Anchors away! Shiver me timbers, if it ain't me nephew Barnaby. <laughs> These are my friends, Ben and Holly. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Redbeard. Ha-ha! <laughs> A pleasure, me hearties. And I'm Nanny Plum. A plum is a sweet fruit indeed. The honour is all mine, Missy. Oh! <laughs> For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, Nigel. Uncle, what was it like being a pirate on the sea? It were a strange life for an elf. Long days staring at the sea, looking for boats. No one to keep me company except Holly. Holly? Yes, me faithful parrot. Bah! This is Holly. Pieces of eight. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Pieces of eight! The conversation must have been riveting. Pieces of eight! Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. <laughs> oh. So you didn't do any piratey things at all? Of course I did! What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh! <laughs> and here's me treasure map. Wow. wow! Now then, somewhere on this map is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. No, that's cheating. Yes, that's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard the Elf Pirate. And this is me friend Polly. Peace of eight! Ooh! We're looking for hidden treasure. Wow! Aha! There's a riddle on the back of the map. What does it say? Roses are large, the sky is big. Mix them together and you'll know where to dig. Oh! Hmm! That's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red, 
and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves. <laughs> dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gaston. Well, <laughs> We think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, we're back where we started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? Ahem. Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes! yes the the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Aye, Captain Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now, I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 
Hoist the mainsail, Polly. Way anchor. Scrub the decks. What? He's a fight. Let's get the ship underway. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Aha! Me too. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing me again. Don't forget the name. Redbeard, the elf pirate! Peace of fight! Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm... Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream. Oh, ho, ho. no, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes. Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da da, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Time. <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles. 
poles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing! Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh! Mummy! I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? Oh dear, I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> really, what a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. <laughs> Crank, 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 crank. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <coughs> this one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> <coughs> Do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm, they do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, blush. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. 
Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are, the pond. Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? Frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity-dee-dah! <laughs> <laughs>